Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. And I wanted to talk about something that we probably don't talk about, but with all the electronics and automotive and all that sort of stuff that's going on, um, yeah, you know, locksmiths are start now starting to turn wires and, and uh, do connections, electric strikes, uh, removing car alarm systems, uh, you name it, basically um, power cabling is something that's now coming into our, our range of jobs that we do. So I wanted to talk about two different, well, one product, but it, that comes in different configurations. Now, this is what we call heat shrink. And the reason we call it heat shrink is because when you apply heat to it, it shrinks. This allows you to terminate or get a good protective coating over a wire. A lot of people know about it, a lot of people don't. But what I'm gonna tell you now, a lot of people won't know about. So this stuff here is the good stuff. The reason it's the good stuff is because the shrink rate is about 50%. As with this stuff is less than about 25%, and I'll demonstrate it. The next thing about this, it, this good stuff is that it's actually got glue on the inside. This cheaper stuff doesn't. So when you're comparing the two and you're wor you know, thinking, which heat shrink should I buy? depends on what you're actually doing and what type of finish you want to do so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give you a little sample between the good stuff and the cheap stuff i mean don't get me wrong the cheap stuff will probably work some most of the time okay but there is a difference and you don't have to just go with the cheap stuff so this one here i've put on this uh, screw and it's probably got about one millimeter gap in there one millimeter one millimeter gap and you just hit it with a flame and you can see it start to shrink and you can see the threads coming right through okay now that's on there that's on there nice and tight i have no troubles with that that looks really good now this one here and you have to compare them in size okay so we'll get our micrometers and we'll even it up we're probably talking about five mil and this one here is closer to nine mil okay so let's do this little test again now remember it does have the glue in there as well so that is a that is a difference get a better join on it sticks to everything better this one will take longer because it's got more to shrink but it does have the ability to shrink more and with the glue on the inside as well does a stronger and better job okay so that one's now shrunk down as well so you can see they're both conform to the shape of the screw. This one is thicker. That's why you're not seeing the grooves come through as much. This one has the glue, and this is just the standard cheap stuff. Both doing the job, both insulated the outside there. So, um, difference in price. This stuff here is uh, probably about half the price of this stuff here. But when you're gonna go buy a heat shrink, at least now you know the difference. You want the cheap, cheap stuff cheap Chinese stuff or you want the expensive Chinese stuff with the glue in it which has a higher shrink rate that being the difference okay leave your comments down below which one you think is better if you you know maybe the cheap stuff has been good for you and you've never had an issue and maybe that's um, all you need so you don't have to go buying the good stuff but it is good to know there is a more superior product out there that does a better job and the glue once it heats up and actually bonds to it that's an advantage over the other one the price a bit of a disadvantage so i guess it's really up to up to the user okay thanks for watching